Welcome back to Elden Ring. We just explored the Earthbore Cave. Let's go check out these ruins. Demi-human forest ruins. Demi-human fully dead. Oh, they're all frenzied. Wait, are they? Maybe just the one. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, they got two knives. Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool enemy. I like their moveset and just their general look. And we got another message appraisal. Let's see. Don't give up, Skeleton has five good ratings and two poor. <gasps> Why do you hate my message? Evil. Like, do you want the skeleton to give up? Two people wanted the skeleton to give up. Jumping required ahead, and then behold, seller. Hmm? Horse required ahead, okay. Is there really something up here, or are you just messing with me? Oh! Oh wow! This would be so easy to miss! Like, I would have missed it if it wasn't for the message. Oh, I gotta upvote these. No trap ahead. Okay. I trust you. Shield of the Guilty. It's spiky. And it can cause blood loss buildup. It's quite light. Mm, the protection is significantly worse than what I have. The guard boost is terrible. Oops, didn't mean to get rid of it, but anyway. Shield made to venerate a maiden whose eyes were crushed by briars of sin before being reborn in these lands. Oh. Venerating the repose of the soul, the shield boosts focus. The briars can be used to attack foes. Go up where it's light so we can see the shield properly. What a nasty little shield. It's really small. Grim. Hmm. That 
will take me possibly up to the tree. That spirit well or whatever. Anything else in these ruins? Oh, yes. Hello? You're just a big dog, aren't you? Oh, he's just a big pupper. A pupper with sorcery. love how the environment is destructible. This is our first new staff. Demi-Human Queen's staff. And a new spell! Crystal Burst. Behold enemy, butthole. Do it. Agreed. Well, this one's just scared, I guess? This one's just scared, making monkey noises. All right, I'll leave you. Precious item ahead. Oh. Group ahead, therefore seek boss. Well, I think that's talking about inside here. But they are pointing over here? Whoa, 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 wait. Is it this? Gold-tinged excrement. <laughs> That's the precious item. <laughs> or, oh wait, maybe that's the precious item. I want to believe that they were talking about the gold shit, though. Okay, magic can attack them. It just, it was missing before. In the last episode. Faith, not crystal tear. It's a key item. Temporarily boosts faith in mixed physic. I don't know what that means. A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. Can be mixed uh, can be mixed in a flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction temporarily boosts one one's faith. We have a note about the flask of wondrous physic. Yeah, it's under info. Here it is. A flask of wondrous physics still remains in the third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. Still haven't found the Mistwood. Or, uh, I don't think we have. I mean, maybe we have and I didn't realize it. Anyway, we have a new staff. I'm so excited for that. Glinstone staff styled as a scepter. A gift once given to the demi-humans to foster peace, it can be wielded even by those of low intelligence. Sneered at by fools in the academy. Okay, attack power, well that's irrelevant, who cares. Sorcery scaling, that's going to affect the damage of all the things I cast with it, is better from 121 to 130. It scales better with strength, who cares? <laughs> That doesn't matter. That just affects the physical attack power. Yeah, okay. I mean, it has better sorcery scaling, so it's better.
And we have a new spell that... Well, I guess I'll check it out the description anyway. Right now. Crystal Burst. Fires a burst of glintstone crystal shards. FP is 14. Takes one slot. Well, I've been using the Rock Blaster, and it's kind of terrible. It just seems bad. Kind of regret getting the 21 Faith for that. So, yeah, I'm just going to replace Rock Blaster with Crystal Burst when we get to another Sight of Grace. Let's look at our new staff. It's a little bit plain, but it's not bad looking. It's got a little gem in the very top. Kind of teal colored. Right, where to now? How about that building? Whoa. So pretty. Oh god. That's gonna hurt. Strong foe ahead. Tear ahead. Oh, you are strong. Miranda powder. Well done. Thank you. Bad luck, flower. So what's this powder? It's under crafting. Pollen from a man-eating Miranda flower. Throughout history, perfumers have prized this extremely fragrant form of Miranda pollen not yet scattered into the air. I like the artwork for that. If you look at the pollen, the little like pollen flowers or buds or whatever you'd call them, they look like miniature trees. Grace ahead. And then I immediately go to the side. <laughs> Why is it always dog? What dog, though? I want to see a dog. I just see a turtle and a bunch of, um... Whatever these are. Sheep? Goats? Oh, look at him roll! <laughs> Bye. Now they're all following the flag bearer.
undead ahead. I'm trying to get fancy and parry. When I haven't parried for a while, I feel like parrying again, you know? I'm guessing that causes bleeding. Inflicting blood loss. Human bone shard? Wait, weren't those used in, um... Was it Dark Souls 2? That bone shards were used to upgrade your flask? Yeah, here is just a crafting item. Fragment of bone with done modeling. Dune modeling? I don't know what that means. Whoa, there's a spectral jellyfish in the background. Um, found by hunting those who live in death. Lamentably brittle, it crumbles at the lightest caress. Interesting. Also, that's very interesting. What is that? Item ahead. Okay, it doesn't attack me. Ooh, a new shield. It's worse at everything. Yeah, it's worse at absolutely everything, except it's slightly lighter. That's it. First off, attacking, and then beating to a pulp required a head. I have to kill the jellyfish? Mm. Hold on, I think we have a side of grace here. I might as well discover that before I do anything. Sacred tear. What are... What are all these bugs doing here? That's feeling a little bit too much Sekiro for my taste. Golden Centipede. Found near churches and similar. Golden desiccated remains of a centipede. Kept as a fetish by Golden Order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches and similar. Alright, let's hit the cemetery, Jelly. Horse? It could be a horse if you want. Why not? Oh, it's angry. It didn't even drop anything. What was the point of killing that pretty spectral jellyfish? Anyway, let's upgrade our flask. So we have another charge. I don't think we have... No, no, wait, we don't have another charge. Had a sacred tear so that I get more HP and FP back from the flasks is what I had. Right, we also have the new spell. So let's 
kick out Rock Blaster. Replace it with Crystal Burst. And let's just see what Crystal Burst looks like. It's just a burst of crystals, isn't it? Let's test out the damage. <laughs> There's another Fortnite. I'm going to upvote every Fortnite. The mausoleum prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. I don't know what that means, but I guess you're trying to help, so thank you. What's the range on this? Not very far. Did the horn call them over? Hmm. The crystal burst strikes me as also not very good compared to the starting two spells. The damage is pretty low. It shoots out ton- well, it's a crystal burst. It's kind of like a very scattered shotgun blast of crystals. Which, if it focused in on an enemy, might equal up to be pretty good damage, but... On its own, like, half of them miss? Even when you're attacking a group? Like, 17, 18 damage for each one that's hitting. Like, why not just do this, which costs less FP and does way more damage and hits enemies more reliably, even in groups? I don't really see a reason to use the Crystal Burst. The arc just seems vastly superior. Now let's go check out this tree. Bye. What is that? Oh, they got trees on their backs. Cool weapons. Pretty close, too. They're very, like, regal looking. Surprisingly regal for things that crawled up out of the ground. Pretty fast. Whoa. I think that might be a boss. Yeah, there's a summoning pool and a stake of Marika here. I see giant pots. 
I hope these aren't the pot boys. Because a lot of them are broken. I want to meet a pot boy. I know they're out there somewhere. Hi. Minor Erd Tree. Oh, look at that thing. It doesn't even have a head. It's just like a blown open tree. Erd Tree Avatar. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's dead! Why are you still shooting at me? Thirty-six hundred souls. Sorry, runes. Opaline bubble tier. Oh, that thing's gorgeous. And a crimson burst crystal tier. So that was an avatar of the Erd tree. So that that thing was protecting the tree, basically. They're key items. Steadily restores HP for a time in mixed physic. Significantly negates damage in mixed physic. Can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. Tarnished Golden Sunflower. Large flower that blooms facing the Erd Tree. Though wilted and faded, it still retains holy essence. Found near minor Erd Trees. Yeah, I thought this thing was an Erd Tree. It is. It's just a minor one. So it's not, it's not that one. That would be the major Erd Tree. But this is an Erd tree. I failed. Behold, good luck. Praise the Erd tree. Liar ahead. Do want to make sure I get a good amount of these faded, uh, sorry, tarnished sunflowers because they're only around earth trees, so I'm not going to find them in many other places. Whoa. Teardrop scarab. There are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrop Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where is that singing coming from?
That's never gonna reach. Why did I shoot that? Is it them down there? Yes! Oh my god, it's the Batmom! It's the Batmom! Do I have to attack you? Sleep. Yes. A nice lullaby. Seek right. Didn't expect comfort. Trap? Oh, I can't talk with them. Oh, they're so cool. I don't want to hurt your babies. I wish they didn't attack me. Oh, this is bad. Fuck. Oh, I have no FP. Oh, no. Get me out of here. Come on, Torrent. Let's go. Get rid of the poison. Heal. I could kill a group of enemies and get back my FP, that would be great. Maybe these? Yes, that got me back one of each. Field of burning butterflies. So pretty. Sorry about mama. Why is it always battle? If only I had a friend. That's what I was thinking. check out it must be that that little building there's something sparkling in there whoa sound like a bell just rung they're all attracted to whatever's shining. Oh right, I don't have any more FP. What am I doing? I just had the one potion worth. Oh crap. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. That's what the old, like the, the old person, the old ghost was talking about. They said something about that. Ma? 
My god. <laughs> My god. Behold, God. Oh. I don't know if I want to fight these with no FP. Do I have one of those things I can take that give me FP back? Um, no. No, I don't. Something incredible ahead. Mushroom oh mushroom. Why is it always mushroom? I don't know, mushrooms are pretty incredible, aren't they? Praise the mushroom. Um Down. Oh. Something incredible ahead. Okay, they might be lying, but... There is something down there. Like... I don't mean something good. It might just be death, but there is something. <laughs> I don't think that's anything. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not anything of significance. Casks? Caskets? Or whatever those are called? Those aren't caskets. They're like... They're like something else. Okay, what am I doing? Am I gonna fight them? Uh, almost aggroed him. I'm not gonna fight them. Let's go back here. not go over to that yet. Oh, there's a stake of Marika. Sorry, puppy. Cliff ahead. Well, thank you. I wasn't sure what that was. Just full of golden runes. Yes. Two flasks back. B. 
Behold, cemetery. Well done. Wait, is that the ones that never die? Oh, no, seems pretty dead to me. God, look at how many of them there are just milling about the beach. Just these sad, soulless husks. You know, I should probably spend my souls. I do have 10,000. Let's put one point into mind. And another point into endurance, maybe? More stamina plus more weight? Yeah. They have a note on the walking mausoleum. I am curious about that. Sacrificial twig will be lost on death in place of runes. Hmm. Oh, lantern! Attached to waist to illuminate surroundings, so I wouldn't have to hold it in my hand. Oh, I want that. Oh yeah, and we have the stone sword keys, which I never used. And they sell three of them. Okay, hold on. Have a safe journey. I'm going to pop all of my runes and see how much I have. Yeah, I want the note. For sure. Interested in these weapons. Definitely want the lantern. Let's get that. Stone sword keys I don't have a use for yet, but would be good to have, I'm sure. Used to, du to duplicate ashes of war. Hmm, I don't think that's necessary. What does this take? Uh, this is a strength weapon, and it's a colossal sword, so no, this is not going to be for me. But yeah, I'll buy one of these. I would buy another, but I think it might... If I buy another, I might not be able to level up. Let's check. Yeah, if I bought another, I wouldn't have been able to level up. Let's get another point in vigor. The note on the walking mausoleum says to stop the mausoleum's stride, you'll need to clean up around its feet first. Okay, I figured. And yeah, I assigned the lantern to down in the pouch. There we go. Suppose I can just leave that on Always, really, right? How's it compare to the actual lantern? Well, we'll have to try it out somewhere where it's actually too dark to see. Obviously, it's maybe half the strength of the lantern, but that'll probably be enough. It's got a bell under there. God, what a fascinating thing.
Should we go check it out? Let's go check it out right now. Okay, the fact that I'm just, like, illuminated is a little bit weird. I'm just gonna turn that off. Uh. Can I not turn it off when I'm on torrent? I guess not. up around its feet. Would that have something to do with these fellows? that did something? Did it? Try defeating one by one and then seek legs. Seek legs attacking. Oh, I was hoping I didn't have to attack the legs, but okay. Oh, I see. I need to knock off the white stuff. That is so cool that it's an enemy slash just location. Anything around the back? Nope. What's in you?
Remembrance Duplication Menu. With the Remembrance Duplication Menu, you can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. This includes rem remembrances from which you've already drawn out power. Duplication can only be performed once per mausoleum. Okay, well, I don't know what a remembrance is, but I don't have one yet. Let's improve my Demi-Human Queen's staff. That'll turn the sorcery scaling from 130 to 133. I really need more smithing stones. And yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return... Well, we have this to explore, but I think the very next thing I want to do is check out this cave. <laughs>